I'm sorry about that, y'all, man. My sister wanted to play a prank on me. Anyway, as I was saying, though, SpongeBob SquarePants was rated on May 1st, 1999. Okay, no, they had a preview of it in 1999, though, but the actual series, the first premiere, on July 17, 1999. It was rated by Stephen Helgman and featured the voices of Tom Kennedy as SpongeBob, Bill Ferguson as Patrick, Wazza Bumpass as Squidward, Clarence Brown as Mrs. Puff. No, as I think he plays Mr. Krabs. Hold on, I got the voice actors. I had to get y'all back. Yeah. Hold on, I got the Now, SpongeBob SquarePants set is set in Bikini Bottom Under the Sea, though. And it's uh about SpongeBob SquarePants, who is a little sea sponge, though, who catch phrases, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. SpongeBob works as a fry cook at the Krusty Krab, though, when she loves his job, though. SpongeBob SquarePants lives in a pineapple and everything, though. His best friend is Patrick Star. Now, SpongeBob SquarePants cannot drive. Please don't touch. Okay? Yeah. He has failed his driving test about 500 times, though, and it's really stupid. But we're going to get to that later, though. Now, let's talk about the voice cast, though. I know I haven't done this, but I'm going to start doing the actors who play in the show. You got Tom Kennedy as SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick the Powers, Hans the Dirty Bubble, Gary the Snail. Damn, he played a lot of characters. The French narrator, his grandpa, and his character, his other characters. His best friend, Patrick Starr, who is a pink sea star, and he's one of the dumbest characters on the show, but he's funny, though. It's played by a dude named Bill Ferguson. Patrick lives in a rock. Yes, literally, a rock. Made of sand. I don't know how he's able to function with sand, though, but he makes it work. He's a dumbass. Then you got Roger Bumpass plays Squid with Tentacles. Squid with Tentacles is a clarinet player who loves art and loves music. He also hates his job at the Krusty Krabs and everything, and he's annoyed by SpongeBob and Patrick, and he really doesn't like them that much. He lives in a tiki head, though, and is not impressed by, by their nonsense. Clarence Brown plays Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is the owner and manager of the Krusty Krabs, who is one of the cheapest dudes on the show. He also lives in an anchor and everything, and has a daughter named Paul who's a whale, but we're going to talk about that later. Then you have Mr. Lawrence, who plays Plankton, Larry the Lobster, Potty the Pirate, and the Wilbur's Fish Head. Let's talk about Plankton. Plankton is the evil villain who was friends with Mr. Kraft, but he he also, but something happened though. You gotta watch episode of photo, but we'll talk about that later when I review my favorite episodes of the show. Yeah, Plankton wants a sun bucket though, which is a not very popular restaurant. And wants to steal the Krabby Patty formula. He has a computer wife named Karen that he built. Karen is played by Jennifer Tilly. Then you have the only land creature on the show, Sandy Seeks, who is a squirrel from Texas and is a scientist. She lives in a street dome and she uh, has to wear a space suit in order to breathe out there because, you know, it's underwater and everything. Then you have Miss Puss, played by Mary Jo Canterson, who is sponsored by Zarvin Teacher who does not like Spongebob and really wants Spongebob to get out of her class, though. But apparently he won't because he failed the test. Then you got Lou Aaron to play Mr. Crow's daughter, Pearl. We're going to talk about that later. All uh, right. Now, let's talk about my favorite episodes. One of my favorite episodes... Now, what I like about the series is that it's funny, okay? Spongebob and Patrick, you never know what they might get into and everything, though. They always go on adventures together and everything, though. Yeah, it's so funny, though. They have special episodes, though. One of my favorite episodes was the Bangy episode. Basically, Squid and Fancy Son, Squid and Wild from band class, though. Band can't perform at what is the Super Bowl. So Squid and rounds up the people from Bikini Bottom to form his own band, though. And it's a great song. And there's a great song that I want to play for you that I really like. It's called Sweet Victory. You know.
Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get stuff out of my ear. Yeah, that was awesome, though. I really like that episode because I am a big band head myself, though. So any episode that involves music, I would like. My next favorite episode was, will have to be, the one episode with Spongebob I lost Gary. That was emotional, though, because I know what it feels like to lose, to lose pets, though. I had two dogs to die of and everything, though, and I still miss them every day, though. And also had Dawson on the way. So I felt where Spongebob was coming from. And he would, and Spongebob was 